today's video, we're going to be making nitrocellulose. Nitrocellulose is an explosive that is commonly used in things like dynamite and it also is used in gunpowder. It can be derived from things like cotton, rope, and paper. It can really be derived from anything that has cellulose and this is the process for making this. First, I get a pan. After this, I need to add some chemicals in order for this reaction to happen. In this case, I need to add sulfuric acid and some potassium nitrate, which is the white powder that I'm putting in the pan. After this, I kind of sort of mix it, and then I have to go heat it up. As you can see, I already added the sulfuric acid, and it is about a concentration of about 98%. As you, can, the, as you can see, I do this outside because the sulfuric acid and the potassium nitrate are going to react with the heat to create nitric acid. This is actually going to create an extreme amount of heat, which we want to avoid. As you can see, here I have the explanation and the chemical reaction of how this is happening. So, basically what's happening is that we have to nitrate the cellulose by adding three nitrous groups onto it. As you can see in the video, we already finished, and the nitration has been completed. After this, we have to add our cellulose that has been soaked up, and we have to actually put it in the oven. In this case, I'm gonna have to bake it at 350 for about 20 minutes. You can also do it at 200, but I prefer to do it at a higher temperature, so it sucks up all the humidity and it's also easier to burn. To talk a little bit about what's actually happening, so we're adding three nitrous groups to the cellulose. Cellulose is actually made out of glucose groups and is very similar to a carbohydrate. Once all this is finished, I added a little bit of rope here onto this paper and we're gonna actually test it. As you can see, it kind of rounded up, but this is simply the oxidation of the nitric acid that's been unwanted on the rope. This is okay, and it's not going to do anything bad for our actual chemical. As you can see, I add a little bit of a piece here, and now we're gonna burn it. Because it still has a lot of humidity inside, it does take a while to, uh, to react, but eventually it does react fairly well, and we can see some very nice smoke from the nitrous cellulose. When it's burning, the three nitrous groups become unreactive, and they detach with the hydroxyl group. After this, I wanted to test it a bit more, so I used some paper. This was a much lighter not You can see immediately the nitrous groups get separated and a ton of smoke gets made. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this kind of took me a long time to make because nitrous cellulose is very hard to make. But besides that, it was very fun to make. Thank you.